Coronation Street, Catherine Tildesley reveals future plans after announcing soap exit. As a Coronation Street cast member since 2011, Catherine Tildesley has seen her fair share of Christmases on the cobbles. And this year, her character, Eva Price, saw everything fall apart thanks to cheating partner Aidan Connor. Kath, 34, is hoping for a happier Christmas for Eva as she gets close to Adam Barlow. It's also going to be her last Corey Christmas as the actress has announced she is leaving the soap, along with Shane Ward, who plays Aiden. Coronation Street has been a dream job for me, which is why this was such a difficult decision to leave, she says. Eva has been such fun to play over the last seven years and, who knows, one day she might storm the cobbles of Weatherfield again. In the meantime, I'm excited about the future new acting projects and spending time with my family. Here, Kath who has a two-year-old son, Alfie, with husband Tom Pitfield tells us all about Christmas for Eva as well as her plans for the season and. Do you feel like Eva deserves a decent Christmas this year? Ah, yes, bless her. She's been through it and I know she's not whiter than white but I think she's got a good heart deep down she just doesn't think about consequences, never has done. Has she moved on from Aiden? Initially, she thought Adam was attractive and that's where it ended her heart was with Aiden. But slowly but surely, as Adam has persisted, she's fallen for him. It's nice to see her happy. Can you tell us about the reindeer costume we'll see her in? It's so illegal. They're at a community center, it's a children's nativity and I felt bad wearing that outfit in front of children. There's nothing fluffy about it it's a bondagey reindeer. She's a reindeer and Adam is an elf. When they go to get changed, she can't get her outfit off and he's like, oh, I'll help you, and then things get a bit more than steamy. But it's very funny, that's the comic relief at Christmas. It's not that long ago since you were set to marry Aiden and it's so difficult. She loved him and I think that is still there and that's how we're playing it at the moment. She is falling for Adam but when you've had feelings for somebody like that, they don't just disappear overnight. What does she like about Adam? It's a really tough job. He is charming and we know, again, he's not whiter than white. But the side that Eva sees is very much Prince Charming and he was there for her. Because I think we've seen a lot with Adam with the darker side, it's nice for the viewers to see that he has this softer side. On her wedding day, before she went to go to walk down the aisle, he said to her, you take my breath away. So it's nice to see that side of him. How does it feel filming Christmas scenes so early? As soon as bonfire night is out of the way, I want to put the tree up. I'm very much into Christmas but Tom's like, no. Yeah, it's great. What are your Christmas plans? We're lucky because we get two weeks off, so I love to be at home at this time of year. Catching up with people and sitting on my backside. 
Are you cooking dinner this year? Tom is. For 13 people. I just make it look pretty I'm going to do the table but Tom is a really good cook and he's got a lot more patience than I have. You two are very much into health and fitness, so will it be a very healthy Christmas dinner? Hell, no. Christmas is the one time I just don't care. You've got to indulge at this time of year, haven't you? Is Alfie looking forward to it? He can't wait. Last year, he couldn't say Father Christmas, so he kept calling him Ho Ho. He's maintained that, is Ho Ho coming? We did the talc thing where you do footprints and he was so confused. He was just looking at us, like, this is talc, you are really weird. But, yeah, he can't wait. How do you juggle being a mum with work? When I first had Alfie, I was like, I'm gonna find this balance and I'm gonna roll with it. But there is no balance, there isn't. There are times when I'm not with him that much and I miss him desperately and there's other times, luckily with this job, that I get to spend loads of time with him. It's just about making the most of that time when you've got it. If anybody says they've got the balance, I'd love to know how they've done it. Do you suffer mum guilt? Absolutely. I think everybody does. You feel guilty over everything that's part of being a mum. We're all too hard on ourselves at times. What's on your present list? I'm easy to buy for perfume, shoes, makeup. I'm girly, so if it smells nice and looks pretty, I'm happy. Spa days, that's a big one. If he gets me a spa day, he's safe. What about your own Christmas shopping? As I go through the year, if I see something that somebody would like, I'll get that and keep hold of it for Christmas. I've got a few bits and bobs. Me and Tom are being dead boring this year and getting luggage because we need luggage. That's such a mum and dad thing to do, isn't it? Dot. Do you make resolutions? Every year, yes. But they are always really similar. This one didn't work out this year. I wanted to try more yoga but I just hate it. I feel like I should like it and I love meditation but I just get really frustrated with yoga and I'd just rather lift weights and then meditate. What's your resolution this year? I don't know, probably to travel more, like when we get the opportunity. If I'm off on a Friday. When I get the luggage. That was kind of a resolution this year, we've done that we've tried to get away a bit more at weekends. What's Alfie like now? He's hilarious. 
He's too but he's really good with his speech. I was doing my makeup not long ago and he said, what are you doing, mummy? And I said, I'm making myself look pretty, and he said, mummy, it's not working. Coronation Street is on at Von Monday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday next week.